As a CEO of Flowster, I get the opportunity to talk to a lot of other CEOs, and each time I show one of these CEOs my daily routine checklist, the response is always the same. Hey man, can I have a copy of that? The reality is that having a daily routine is critical to your success, both in life and in business, and in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through mine step by step. And if you like what you see, you can get a free copy using the link down in the description below. Let's dive into it. So before diving into my routine, I did want to quickly point out that there are a number of science-based health benefits to having a routine. And if you're interested in reading a little bit more about that, we'll put a link to this article down in the description as well. In short though, less stress, better sleep, better eating, better physical conditioning, and better use of your time are all advantages of having a great daily routine. So here is the template for the routine, and you can get a free copy of this if you would like, that I use to start my day every single day. Now you can see here on the left, we've got a number of tasks, which I will quickly go through because I don't want this video to be too long. And then on the right is the instructions on how to do each one of these tasks. Now in Flowster, we have this thing called conditional logic, which basically means depending upon what tick boxes are ticked, it will influence what content is shown here on the left. For example, you can see we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I don't need to see all that stuff. If today, for example, is Monday, I'm gonna put a tick in the tick box on Monday, and now you can see the, the list of things was automatically shortened to eliminate stuff that I don't need to see today. So that task is complete. Now I'm gonna move on to step two. So here are some things, this management habits to form. The use case for this is very simple. Suppose that you have gone to an event or you've read a book or you've listened to a podcast and you've learned some new things and you want to be able to you not forget those things so that you can actually use them in your business. So what I do is I just click the edit button whenever this happens and I edit the template so that each day when I run a workflow of this routine, which I'll show you how to do it a little later on, uh, I am reminded of these things. So one of them is my principles. I need to regularly review and understand my analytics. I need to do stuff in SEO, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, great. I read that every single day to ingrain it into my mind. Then there's this thing I learned from Dan Martell called the 131 rule for problem solving. Until that is natural habit for me, uh, I make sure that it is in my routine and I read it every single day. Same with these other two things. So each morning I just quickly read them and then I put a tick in the tick box. Now we're into my everyday section. So here what I do is as a CEO, I a lot of my time is spent on business improvement projects. So I don't really so much work in the business as as much as I work on the business. And those projects aren't repeatable processes yet. They're new things that I'm creating to make my company perform better. So I manage those projects in typical project management software. I use ClickUp, you can use Asana Monday, whatever you would like. And then all I do is I put links to those projects right here so that at some point during every day, I'm going to click on those links to be taken to those projects so that I can make sure that those projects are on track and that the people on my team who are helping me to execute those projects are also on track. Now, it might be that some of those business improvement one-time projects end up resulting in more repetitive processes and then we'll use Flowster to create those processes so that when we're now doing those things over and over and over again, we're not attempting to do it in project management software. Instead, we're using process management software, which is what Flowster is, to ensure those things are getting done on an ongoing basis. Here, I'm setting my iWatch reminder for an hour to get out of the desk and stretch. Here, I'm telling uh, my, my Alexa device, who's now gonna probably say something, um, to remind me when I want to come back and finish this template because I don't go through the whole template start to finish right at the first thing in the morning. Then I'm going to look uh, at my tasks. So I'm going to look in my project manager. And th uh, sorry, this is what I'm reminding, uh, having my, uh, my, daily my digital assistant, Alexa, to remind me to do. Then every morning I do some reading. 
then every morning um, I am going to make a small entry in my journal and I'd simply place a link here to my journal so I'm quickly able to get to it. Then at nine o'clock every single day, I have a meeting with my affiliate team on Zoom. We have our business plan. And so I could quickly click here and open the business plan, saves me having to create a bookmark somewhere else for it or hunt around and find it. And then at some point during the day, I wanna make sure I check all my Facebook notifications. Um, in my case, because we run software, I wanna see how many people sign up for a free trial every day. Now for you, if you're not running software, maybe this is daily downloads of your number one lead magnet or some other top of funnel activity that you wanna keep a close eye on every single day. I obviously like to know what revenue is happening. So in my case, I wanna know our uh, month daily revenue. I wanna know the trends in churn. I wanna know the trends in growth of recurring revenue. And again, what I'll do here is I'll simply place a link to the respective reports in my reporting software, so you can go ahead and edit this and do this for yourself to take me directly to those reports that I need to see. We happen to use Pipedrive for our CRM, and so I have links placed here to tasks and to deals in Pipedrive. Here, I wanna obviously check, I wanna know my cash position every single day, so this is a reminder for me to check my cash position using the apps on my phone. And then finally, I'll at some point towards the end of the day, I'm gonna make sure that I look at my project manager and make sure that any of my business improvement projects don't have any unfinished or incomplete tasks. So that's what I'm gonna do every day. And then on Monday, I typically am planning any type of content that I might create like this video. So in my case, I link to a brain dump document, which for me is just a Google sheet, which is right there, overview of my daily routine. And then finally, review the marketing KPI dashboard, which is something that I like to do every Monday because my team updates it for me and I, I like to manage my business by dashboard. So this allows me to do that. That is a very quick overview of my daily routine. If you have questions about this, please leave them in the comments below on this YouTube. Uh, if you're not yet a Flowster user and you would like to get this daily routine, you can get a free copy of it simply by clicking the link that is down in the URL. And if you are a new Flowster user, you can do the same thing. You can easily add this to your account and customize it to your heart's content. Now, a few things before we finish up. There is a way for you to create this as a recurring routine. So if I switch, switch over into my Flowster so in my calendar review, you can see here that there's this white item and this is the recurring workflow. So every single day, like when I get to that day, that workflow, like if we look at today, for example, the Flowster has automatically converted a scheduled recurring workflow and put it in my calendar every day. And you can notice this one is only for big ballers. That's my own humor to self. So hopefully you appreciate that and it's gonna show up in my calendar every single day. So when I come into the office in the morning, simply click on this, that is the very first thing that I do, and it's gonna take me right into the routine that I have been showing you. So let me close out by saying this. If you're really wanting to get in the habit of having your entire team use Flowster so that you can create freedom in your business and you can create predictable uh, routines for people, you can retain knowledge, you can train employees faster, you can delegate work easier. There's one really important thing that you need to do and you need to use it every day yourself. And that is the primary purpose of the daily routine, especially if you are a new user with Flowster. It will give you the opportunity to use Flowster every day yourself. And if you start using it every day and then you get your employees to set up similar routines for themselves, they're going to start using it every day and all sorts of really great magic will start happening in your business because you, all of your team will be drinking the Kool-Aid, so to speak, of creating standard operating procedures for all of the recurring processes that happen in your business. And the two big benefits of that are obviously retention of specialized knowledge, execution of processes according to exactly how it's supposed to be done, which means training new employees is a whole lot easier and faster and less expensive, and delegating work to a remote team becomes substantially 
easier, faster, and less expensive. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in another video soon. If you're watching this on YouTube and you would like to get updates of future videos, make sure you click the subscribe button, ideally hit the bell. And if you found this video helpful, I would love it if you would smash that thumbs up button. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.